I started the Contivica Project in 2010. I was really interested in how I could create this project that was autoethnographic and it was something that I could use to talk about being from two, two different kind of cultural and geographical positions. It's food, it's dance, it's music. I don't know, I just think this this project is kind of one of the most like really like sincere, like honest projects I've probably ever done. And it's like all of my interests combined into one. Contemporary is not a kind of easy project to bring to any space. Um, it's conceptual. I'm telling people that there's an eighth continent that people don't know about. And it's not like um, result based. So to have an institution like 18th Street actually support that and say, no, we want you to bring it here. And even from the um, panel discussion, when you talked about 18th Street as an institution of ain'tness, like that really blew my mind. That's like a huge part of the project for me. This idea that Contivica is this kind of living and breathing archive. I want Contifica to continue to be living and breathing and flexible in its iterations. For my artist lab residency, I'm working on research for a project that I'll be exhibiting at the Craft and Folk Art Museum next year. Experiment with, with my formal practice as well. I'm doing uh, experiments with adobe structures indoors um, and also how adobe mud and plaster could function as a surface for painting. One of the kind of side, like tangential ideas around my work has been learning about my own personal history and my own personal traditions and try to re recreate some of my own history around the Middle East. I hadn't been back home in a very long time. And so part of that is learning these traditional crafts or these, how to make this traditional food. The most interesting part of the practice for me is, is the learning process. So as an artist, you kind of become a master of what you do, what you make. Um, and I realized lately that I actually want to be a student of what I make, so I want to always be learning. The residency at 18th Street has been really pivotal for me. The reason that I find 18th Street residency so special is that I was able to experiment with materials and at a scale um, that I couldn't possibly do in the studio. Experimenting with these large scale murals, creating a large scale uh, adobe structure inside the gallery space and just having the kind of dialogue that you have being in a space that's a gallery and a studio at the same time and people walking through and having to articulate your ideas. You know, it's very new and I, I would never have that in the studio because it's a, it's a more private space of creation. So here you're almost creating and exhibiting and talking all at the same time and, and kind of engaging with the ideas with other people um, as you're making them. So that's quite unique.